Example board, page number 8. One more question is there. Consider the numbers of the form 4 to the power of n. 4 to the power of n. Where n is any natural number here. Either 1, 2, 3. Any natural number. Check whether there is any value of n. Whatever you take instead of n is we get 4 to the power of n and still 0. This is the question. So, once uh, try to understand about this question. If 4 to the power of n is to end with 0 for any natural number of n, it should be divided by 2 and 5. This 4 to the power of n should be divided by 2 and 5. If n is any number, any natural number, we get 4 into 4 into 4 into something. That, that product of force we have to divide it by 2. Is it possible? It is possible. But is it possible to find? No. Why? Because the prime factors of 4, we cannot get 5. That's why we are unable to get and get the, we are unable to get 5 is the factor. If 5 cannot get, we are unable to get and is with 0. Have you understand children? Now go through by the proof. Example, I am taking 4 to the power of n. How see children? If 4 to the power of n ends with is 2 ends with 0 ends with 0 for a natural number for a natural number for any natural number and it must be follows the prime factors of the prime factors of 4 must be 2 and 5 is it possible children 2 we get but 5 not get that, that only I did here but 5 cannot be get cannot be get the prime factors of 4 so that so that 4, 4 to the power of n cannot be Zero. For any natural number n. Okay, have you understand children? Okay, do one thing. If you understand this question means you go to find the third question in exercise second. Clear children? Right, very good. Okay, children, see this question. Explain 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 is a composite number. Is asking to the easy composite number is asking. Composite number. What is mean by composite number? What is mean by prime numbers? Prime numbers means a number having only two factors. They are one and itself. If a number having only two factors, they are one and itself. Such numbers are called prime numbers. What about composite numbers? Composite numbers means a number having at least 
three factors including one at least three factors three or more than three factors such numbers are called the composite numbers is this number having more than three factors once we check if more than three factors we have to accept this is a composite number otherwise it is not a composite number clearly come to here example i am taking 7 into 11 into 18 plus 30 here i am taking up to here this is single term this is the second term when any plus or minus means before plus single one term after plus one term more totally two terms are there here i am taking 30 is the common when i am taking 30 is the common the remaining numbers are 7 into 11 plus 1 because in this two terms i am taking 30 in common 30 in one is 30 so that's next 30 into 7 11 is 77 77 plus 1 we get 70 H. Okay, 30 into 78. 78 we have to split. How? 2 into 39. And the next step 13 into 2 into 3 into 13. 3 into 13. So, how many factors we got here? This number is divisible by 2, 3, 13 and also 1 when we multiply this total number we have to get maybe 1000 1014 I think ok I will check once I multiply in there mm. these are 39 39 78 already is there from the 8 so that the 1014 yes 78 that is 1014 okay it is a this number 1014 this total number is 1014 this 1014 is divisible by 2 2 3 13 and 1 and 1014 also means more than 3 factors that's why it is a composite number therefore it has more than three factors or more than two factors more than two factors so that the given number the given number is a composite number the given number is a composite number Understand children? Okay, in the same model, in the same fourth question, we have one more question is there, and fifth question also same question. These two questions you complete it. Clear children? Here, what is the last digit of 6 to the power of 100? In this exercise 1.2, last question is this. So, how to find? Means is asking to find the 6 into 6 into 6 into like 100 times after we get a big number what is the last digit value is asking so how can we able to say that number after completion of calculation is it possible no it is it is very problematic that's why better do go by go through by the trial and error method if 6 to the power of 1 we have to write 6 if 6 is square we have to write 6 is a t6 so 6 cube we have to write 6 into 6 into 6 6 into 6 into 6 that means 6 6 are 36 again 36 6 is a 216 now what happen always we are multiplying 6 by 6 means last digit compulsory we get whatever the power whatever the power 6 power means whatever the power means you should not say 0 the power is 1 and above means natural numbers when we take natural numbers at the place of 100 but here 100 is there that's why the last digit must be 6 only so 6 to the by above conclusion
We have two. See, I have to say, I lost a digit of six to the power of hundred is six. Okay, children, have you understand?